Hungry? You buying? Uncle Sam is. Mr. President, we are at a point in this war that is the most dangerous to the greatest historical achievements known to man. To start off with, yeah. I'd like to ask how you originally got involved in the Monuments Men. I went to a party uh, for Argo, uh, the opening night party, and then uh, I saw the movie and I went to the restaurant and I had a nice chat with Grant Heslov. George waved at me across the room. I kind of vaguely know him from seeing him around. And then the next day I got a phone call. You want to be in the Monuments Men movie? I said, yeah, sure. What, what is it? Did George sit down and pitch you? Uh, pitch it to me, yeah. He, he was desperate to get me on board. Um, no, they, they, I had a casting in London um, and I uh, put myself on tape and the taping got sent to George and Grant. Um, and then uh, I had to fly to Berlin to meet George. I'm to put a team together and do our best to protect buildings, bridges, and art before the Nazis destroy everything. How many men? Six. Jesus. Well, with you at seven, that's much better. So what was it like stepping onto the set for the first time, surrounded by these acting legends? You know, you try to be very cool and, and nonchalant about it, but the truth is, you know, it's hard not to be impressed by them guys because, you know, they're so well recognized. Um, and. They're people that I personally have respected growing up. You know, I'm a huge film fan. Well, the chaps are all very anxious to get started. We have your architect from Chicago, a sculptor, a director of design at the School of Fine Arts, and a few other experts in various fields of art. It's a story that I always felt we had to be told because first time in the history of civilization, uh, our country, Great Britain, and us, and other countries, were involved in the process of returning art first and sadly only time in the history of civilization. We wanted these men and these women to get recognition because they weren't talked about much and they're still not talked about much. And finally, because George Clooney decided to make a movie about them, their book is the, the book about Monuments Men is selling more. And the truth is people are now being made aware of these amazing people. They did they did a fascinating thing. They were too old to be in the army. So, well, how can we help? We're art historians, we're experts, we're curators. We're gonna go risk our lives because without us, there will be no more art left in Europe. The, the Hitler was taking it all, putting it in the bottom of a salt mine and blowing it up. They tell us who cares about art, but they're wrong. It is the exact reason that we're fighting for a culture, for a way of life. What is all this? People's lives. What were your first impressions when you heard that a film was going to be made? Inside of me was the uh, fact that this story was finally going to be told in an effectual manner to the rest of the world. And what do you have audiences take from the Monuments Men when they go and see it? The first thing I want audiences to take from, when they, from Monuments Men when they see it is I would like them to have a good time. I would like them to say, I'm glad I spent two hours here. It's a positive message. These guys are fun. What they did was interesting, and it was really fun to watch. All hell's breaking loose here. We have some unfinished business. 